Now that we have learned how to find out an approximate cube root and an approximate square root, let's look at a typical question that comes under approximations in bank exams. So what we see on the screen here is uh, a question from approximations which goes as follows. Write square root of 727.9995 plus 5.1961 squared is equal to question mark divided by 2 by 10.7960. And look at the options here 53, 44, 5, 15, and 10. So, our job here is to find out what comes in place of question mark, right? We have to find out what is the value that comes in place of question mark, right? In fact, what is the approximate value that comes in place of question mark? Now, as you can observe from the options here, these are not very close to each other, right? 53, 44, 5, and then we have 15 and 10, right? These options are spaced out uh, properly which means we can do approximation to a good extent here. See, if the options are very close, like 53, 52, 51, 49, then it becomes a little challenging because even a small uh, error in your approximation can lead to a wrong answer. But since the options are uh, far away from each other, right, we can do a approximation to a good extent, right? So how do we deal with it? Now, it's, it's all about taking the closest values possible. Like for example here, uh, 727.9995 is very close to 728. So this can be considered as square root of 728 plus. Now we have 5.1961 squared. Now there are two things that you can think of. Either you take it as 5.2 square, which is very close to 5.1961 or you can also take it as 5 squared. Now I am okay taking it as 5 square here since the options are not very close to each other. If the options had been very close like 44, 43, 42, 41, 39 then we should have taken this as 5.2 right but in this case I think we can consider it as 5 square which is equal to question mark divided by 2 by 10.7960. Now 10.7960 can be approximated as 11. So this is what we need to deal with, right? Find out what comes in place of question mark. Now see, 728 under root is very close to 729 under root, right? Square root of 729. And square root of 729, you know, is 27. So this is approximately 27. 5 squared, 25. So we have 27 plus 25 on the left-hand side, which is equal to question mark. Now we have learned in simplifications. When you have division followed by a fraction, uh, easier way to deal with it is convert this division to multiplication and reciprocate the fraction. So 2 by 11 becomes 11 by 2. Right. So the question now boils down to 27 plus 25 is equal to question mark into 11 by 2. It was question mark divided by 2 by 11. It has been changed to question mark into 11 by 2. We have learned this in simplifications. You can refer to those videos for more details. So what do we have now? 27 plus 25 is 52. 52 equals question mark into 11 by 2 or it's like 11 by 2 you know is 5.5 5.5 now 52 by 5.5 right approximate value of question mark is 52 by 5.5 if i take it as 53 i mean if i take it as 55 55 by 5.5 is 10 or if you consider 5.5 as 5.2 approximately it is close to 10 right somewhere around 10 now look at the options 53 and 44 are straight away ruled out these are nowhere close to 10 5 and 10 are also far away from 10 when compared to the option 5 here which is equal to 10 you're getting it see understand in case of approximations it's not about right answer uh, from the options it is about the best answer from the given options so the best of the options here is 10 because what i get here is something which is very close to 10 slightly less than 10 if you look at 52 by 5.5 but yes it can be considered as 10 which is given in option 5 so your answer to this question is going to be option 5 10. so this is how you deal with questions in bank exams let us now look at example number four from approximations where we will deal with the question based on fractions. So the question here is 1 4 by 7 plus 7 1 by 3 plus 3 3 by 5 is equal to what? And we have to find out what comes in place of this question mark, right? Approximately what comes in place of this question mark. Options are 21, 8, 25, 13 and 30. Again, in this case, if you uh, throw a look at the options, you would uh, realize that they are not very close to each other. So we can do a you know do an approximation to a great extent now look at the question 1 4 by 7 plus 7 1 by 3 plus 3 3 by 5 is equal to what now if you recall our discussion of simplifications we had dealt with questions based on fractions there as well and the technique that we had learned there was whenever we have to uh, you know solve a question based on fractions which, it, which involves uh, additions and subtractions it is always suggested to deal with the integers part separately and the fractions part separately 
right whenever we have additions and subtractions involving fractions right or fractions involving additions and subtractions it is best to do the integer solution separately and the fraction solution separately and then club these two to get the final answer there is no point in simplifying this fraction like like 1 4 by 7 can actually be taken as 7 plus 4 11 by 7 then 7 1 by 3 can be taken as 21 plus 2 22 by 3 and similarly 3 3 by 5 can be simplified as 18 by 5 is equal to what but then this makes no sense this will only you know make the solution lengthy so it's always best that you deal with integers and fractions separately so let's find out the integer value first see all are additions right all the three values have to be added so 1 plus 7 8 8 plus 3 11 so 11 is the integer sum now what is the fraction sum see even if I consider all the fractions here equal to 1 like like 4 by 7 1 by 3 and 3 by 5 are the three fractions 4 by 7 is one fraction 1 by 3 is another fraction and 3 by 5 is the third fraction see understand that the maximum value of a fraction can be 1 in fact it should be less than 1 it can be like 0 0.9999 right the maximum value that any fraction can take is 0 0.999 and so on 1 becomes an integer right maximum can be 0 0.99 like for example uh, let's say if it is 48 by 49 this will be very close to 1 right or 73 by 74 these fractions are very close to 1 right so even if you consider all three fractions here 4 by 7 1 by 3 and 3 by 5 to be equal to 1 1 and 1 let's say actually these are not equal to 1 these are less than 1 right 4 by 7 is less than 1 1 by 3 is like only 0 0.3 3 by 5 is 0 0.6 but even if we consider it to be 1 1 and 1 what will be the maximum sum that we'll get here 3 the sum of the fractions is going to be 3 so 11 plus 3 approximately 14 has to be the answer yes or no the answer for this uh, arithmetic sum of uh, you know mixed fraction should be 11 which is the sum of integers plus 3 which is the sum of the fractions 14 look at the options is 21 a possible answer no is 8 a possible answer no is 25 a possible answer no is 30 a possible answer no 13 seems to be close to 14 see answer definitely should be between 11 and 14 because integer sum is 11 right question mark will be greater than 11 why will it be greater than 11 because integers itself are adding to 11 so it should be greater than 11 and it should be less than 14 why should be less than 14 because all the three fractions if considered as 1 1 and 1 the maximum value that this question mark can take is 14 so it has to be between 11 and 14 and the only option which is between 11 and 14 here is option 4 13 so that becomes our answer you don't have to write all these steps to get the answer by the way right all this can be cut down you can you can mentally do the simplification and or the approximation and mark option 4 as the answer right suppose the options are really close then you may have to deal with the uh, fractions part properly like if the options let's say are 13 13.5 14 11.7 and you know something like that then you may probably have to deal with the fractions a little carefully right what will happen 4 by 7 plus 1 by 3 plus 3 by 5 integer sum even in integer sum even in that case would remain 11 right integer sum will not change that will remain 11 only the fractional part would change simplify how much will that become see 4 by 7 is approximately 0.5 how I how, how can I say that is approximately 0 0.5 because 4 by 7 is like 4 by 8 4 by 8 is half 0.5 1 by 3 we all know is 0 0.33 but we can consider it as 0 0.3 and 3 by 5 see if you recall our discussion of percentages in speed math 3 by 5 is 60 percent and 60 percent is 0.6 so if I add all the three fractions uh, it will be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.6 which is uh, 0 0.8 plus uh, uh, 0 0.6 uh, you know 1.4 right this is 1.4 so the uh, integer sum is 11 the fraction sum is 1.4 yes or no so what we had taken as 3 is actually 1.4 so what happens 11 plus 1.4 will become 12.4 12.4 and again 12.4 also the best option that we have among the options here 13 option for 13 getting it anyway let me tell you that we need not do this kind of a, a precise calculation for fractions here because only one option uh, is, is close to what it can be approximately the value there right in case options are close 13.5 11.5 13 and so on then you may have to probably go for this kind of a calculation and mark the answer as 12.5 right in that case the answer can be taken as 12.5 if it is there in the options or it can be taken as 12 whichever is closest so this is how you just deal with questions based on fractions similarly let's say instead of uh, you know plus we have minus somewhere like for example if you have uh, minus uh, 3 by 5 what do you do in that case let me use a different color to explain that right let's say we have instead of plus 3 by 5 we have minus 3 by 5 so what happens 1 plus 7 8 8 minus 3 
right? 1 plus 7 is 8. These two have to be added. 1 plus 7, 8. And 3 has to be subtracted. 8 minus 3 is what? 5. So the integer sum is going to be 5. Plus, what's the fractional sum? 0. 0.5 plus 0. 0.3. This 0 0.6 will become minus 0 0.6. Plus 0 0.6 will become minus 0 0.6. See, remember, uh, when you have minus 3, 3 by 5, integer becomes minus 3, fraction becomes minus 3 by 5. You cannot add 0 0.6. You have to subtract 0 0.6. So 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3 is 0 0.8. 0 0.8 minus 0 0.6 is 0 0.2. So 5 plus 0.2, approximately 5.2. So suppose if it is minus 3 by 5, then what comes in place of question mark? It, it will be approximately 5.2 or, or 5 depending on the options given. There. So simple, whenever you have to deal with fractions based sums, right, where we have to do additions and subtractions, the best way to simplify is to take the integer sum separately and the fraction sum separately, right. So 1, 7, 3 and then 4 by 7, 1 by 3 and 3 by 5.